Thank you for staying with us. ICE has significantly decreased its presence in courthouses arresting individuals suspected to be in the country illegally. What are laws behind these actions? Also, with the passing of the cash bail reform, many individuals are pushing to change the laws on cash bail. How will it affect our community? Here to give us more information and provide further insight is attorney and host of today's verdict, David Lesh. Hey, David. Nice to see you. It's always I'm a pleasure. Always a pleasure That's to see really you. really great. All right, so let's start with uh, ICE. You know, um, 1,700%, that's the increase in the amount of arrests that have been made as a result of an inf a directive that ICE has been uh, following, where they've been going to the different courthouses throughout the city of New York, uh, and in New York State as well, and they have been looking for undocumented uh, illegal aliens um, who've either been accused of crimes or are there for particular reasons, and they've been arresting them either at the courthouse itself or many times across the street. So how do they know? What are they looking for? All right, so let's, let's, you know, let's take a step back here. Yeah. So you, you have to understand that our set of laws really comes through f 500 years of common law. And one of the, the first laws that we took as a country was a privilege that allowed individuals to be able to go in and out of courthouses without repercussion and we did that and we took that as our law back in the 17, late 1700s and we, we codified it and, and took the common law because we wanted people to be able to litigate their disputes mm -hmm. and not be afraid to go there and bring witnesses because if a witness was afraid to go to the courthouse, then you couldn't use that witness to show that you lent somebody else money, and then you couldn't have your day in court, and then the judge would postpone the hearing or the trial. And these were things that happened three, four hundred years ago. Well, we took that as a privilege, and we, and we continued it um, as, a, as a society, and we really never thought to put it into, a codify it into any type of statute, because it wouldn't, it's nothing that really has come up in the last 200 and something years. And also just common decency. It's come, you're, you're going right. into the courthouse for one thing, you don't expect to be arrested. Exactly. Uh, you know, Who would expect not, that it, this, in, the, in, the, in our society that you would be going into a courthouse and you'd be arrested? It's yeah. not something you'd think about, but unfortunately, now with the push, the immigration uh, issues that are coming up in our country, ICE has this directive. So, what, did, what have we done? Right. Well, the Supreme Kings County, the, the prosecutor's office has brought an action against the federal government, um, in particular ICE, to make sure to keep them out of the courthouses because it's preventing them from being able to prosecute their crimes. Witnesses do not want to show. Well, what happens when witnesses do not want to show? Well, what ends up happening, you can't get a conviction. Well, you can't get a conviction, what happens next? Um, we, unfortunately, the people who are on the street who have been convicted, of, who are accused of crimes, are still being accused of crimes. You, you can't put them in jail. Mm -hmm. um, so it's hindering their ability to prosecute a case. That, that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is, again, it's, it's, it's streamlining the judicial process. If you end up having to put over cases because people are afraid to come to court, well, judges have to move hearings. Costs New York State more money. So we, as New York State, have an interest to prevent this directive not only because it infringes on those who individual rights, whether of the uh, immigration and the aliens who are going there, mm -hmm. but also for taxpayers who are paying for money uh, for, the for the judicial system, um, extra money that normally wouldn't be there. So that right. is our, our right to hopefully be able to dismiss this particular, be able to dismiss this particular directive. So, and I just want to point out that yeah. all of the people who are going there, those who are being targeted, are not all going there because they were there for crimes. Like you said, some of them are witnesses, witnesses to a case. So the Office of Court Administration, that's the New York State office that runs the court system, has basically issued its own directive. Um, you have to stay a certain amount of feet or yards away um, from being able to um, arrest somebody from the courthouse. Well, you know, ICE basically just ignores it, and if, it, if they do do it, they end up in plain clothes, right. in unmarked cars. They know who's going to be in the courthouse. They're kidnapping these they, they, people. They, they, they grab them really quickly. Yeah. So, uh, all right, so let's, let's pretty much tell you where we are at this point. So the motion, uh, ICE brought a motion to dismiss the cause of action that was brought uh, by the district attorney's office. And we opposed it. In other words, the district attorney's office opposed it. And the judge um, 
did not dismiss the case, which means it's now ongoing, which means in federal court, fairly soon, we should have a decision, hopefully, as to whether or not um, ICE has a right to be, able, be anywhere near the courthouses, or does that common law 500-year-old precedent still stand? But even if we do have a decision, which we probably will be getting, mm -hmm. it's going to be appealed. We'll probably be to have a decision in the next six months. <sighs> it's still going to be appealed, and you know that eventually it's going to get up to the... Um, to the United States Supreme Court, because that's where this issue has to go. Because mm -hmm. remember, fundamentally, it's the right of the federal government versus the right of the state government. And that's really what federalism is. You know, do we have a right to keep the federal government out of our courthouses? Right. Federal government says we have a right to protect our nation from illegal, undocumented aliens. Who wins? So for those who are undocumented, if they get called to be a witness, I mean, they have a real fear. Sure do. What can they do? Not much. There's really not much they can do. Um, what, 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 what can you say? Try and skirt the law by coming in and out of courthouses where they shouldn't go? People have been, mm -hmm. judges have been arrested for doing that, for allowing, trying to hide witnesses and having them go out different areas of the, of the courthouse. They've gotten in trouble for that. So it's, it's unsettled. It's hard for me or anyone to really tell you what they should or should not do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, hopefully you go in there, you, 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 give, you, know, you go and you give your testimony, and you know, no one's there for you. But it's, it's, it's really a very shocking situation. It's, it it's that privilege against courthouse civil arrests that is eventually going to get litigated, and we're going to find it out an answer, but it's not going to be today, and it's not going to be tomorrow. Um, quickly about the bail. Yes. All right, so... We uh, have one minute. Oh, we have a minute. It it's not very long. You know. so, so really about the bail, I know this is something that they've been trying to fight um, here in New York. Uh, just tell us quickly what's going on. What's the highlight? What's going like? on is it's only been a couple of months, but... You know, there are some groups that are up in arms that are, that those you know low level um, crimes that have been committed, no bail, letting the people out, and some of the groups are saying there these crimes crimes are being committed again. Um, we don't have the statistics. We don't know exactly um, how many people are going out. With just the high level offenses you hear about it every once in a while in in the news. Um, bail bondsmen are not particularly happy. It's their business. They liked giving bail, bonds out and for bail, I mean, it affects them. So they're trying to go back up to Albany, mm -hmm. tinker with the bill, see what happens. Of course, we're going to get, you know, maybe the, the bill might have been rushed, you know, initially, but it is the law now. So stay tuned. you got about another six months. We're going to find out whether or not judges are going to be given the discretion um, to basically say, look, you're dangerous, right. too dangerous. So I'm going to make my own opinion here, and we're going to make sure that I'm giving you bail. I don't care what the new law is. We'll see if the judges we'll have the discretion. All right, Dave. Thank you so much My for being pleasure. here. My pleasure. Always good seeing you. You too. If you need answers and advice to difficult legal issues, you can always connect with David on Facebook and Twitter at Today's Verdict. And tune into Today's Verdict Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. right here on Bronzenet TV. Don't go anywhere because when we come back, we'll learn more information about the coronavirus. Stay tuned.